right, part six of this build. 300F motor into my Grom. This episode, we are gonna do the radiator, we're gonna do the clutch cable, we're gonna do the throttle cables, and if we have time, do the dash. I'm gonna go over all the parts you need, the parts you use, or I use, and I'll have specs, bolt sizes, everything linked in the description that you need. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do, or use, is this clutch cable. So this is from Steady Garage. This is a factory Grom cable housing. The actual cable inside is about, I don't know, two inches longer. It just makes it easier. You have more adjustment on the bike. You can use the Grom cable if you're cheap. You'll just have little to no adjustment if you need it. Um, these are the Chimera radiator hoses. They come in four different colors. I actually have a yellow color here that I'm installing on a 300R swap after I'm done this. And this is the Chimera radiator setup. So this is a factory CB300 radiator. So if you have a full bike, you can definitely use the stock radiator. All you do is mount these brackets, weld them on there, and these bolt to your factory airbox mounting points on your frame. Um, these three holes are for the fan. This is the factory fan. You can find this on eBay if you don't get it from your bike that you're using as a donor. Pretty cheap. These are like 10 to 20 bucks. Um, the bolts for the radiator. You can't use the factory airbox bolts that mount to the frame. They're not long enough. I'll have these in the description, the thread pitch and the size that I'm using. A side note, they're the same bolts that hold your clutch springs in on your Grom. Um, these three rubbers, these three rubbers right here, obviously go in these three holes. And these uh, inserts go in there. These three bolts and these three, um, I don't even know what you call these things. Um, they're from the, fact, um, the factory setup for these three holes. Obviously, if you don't have these, you can use a bolt and a nut and some washers for three of them. They mount the fan to the radiator. This bracket is what holds the radiator in place from you know swinging. This mounts down here, and this mounts to right here. And then that obviously mounts to the radiator. It stops it from moving. I will say before you do this, if you're going to change your spark plug, now is the time to do it because once the radiator is on here, you can't get to this. And I don't know what I said already, so we're going to do the throttle cables as well. And the Koso Dash, if I have time in this episode, I'm going to keep it short. I think every episode's been over 15 minutes. My camera is messed up. So I'm going to mount this camera. We're going to get the fan on the radiator first and all the bushings and all that crap. And then we're going to mount it to the bike. So these little clips, you kind of bend them in a little bit if you're using them. And then they just clip on here like so. Do it for all three. And I pinch them so they're snug against there so they won't fall off, even though they're bolted. Next, take your fan. It only can go literally one way. And then your bolts. These are 10 millimeter or Phillips. Next, we're gonna put the bushings in. These are just rubber, they just go slide in like this. Then your inserts, you're gonna to wanna to put them on the outside as that's where the bolt's gonna bolt up against. I mean, do I, do I land back up 
Next, we're gonna put the hoses on. Uh, these are the factory clamps. I'll link a set of these in the description. Um, the long tube goes on the right side and the 90 degree goes on the top. Short one goes on the left side. Don't forget your clamp. All right, future Mike, future editing Mike here. We're actually gonna do the throttle cables first because I mounted the radiator and now you can't get to the throttle cables. So we're gonna mount the throttle cables first. So we're using the stock Grom cables right now. They route to the right side of the frame. We're gonna route them to the left side of the frame. I'm going to leave them tucked behind this bracket because I don't think they're going to be in the way. Just run them over here. was more of a pain in the ass than I thought it would. So I grom cables, run it down, like I said, to the right side. I took the throttle body off to get to these to put them on, but it doesn't stick. Good to go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the clutch cable to the engine, and run it up to the lever. So the bracket is gonna go here. We're gonna take these two bolts off. These are, like I said before, doing the clutch, nine foot-pounds. Just kind of snug them up there. Don't need to crank them on. You don't want to snap them. They can snap. Now I'm going to put the cable on, like that. Move these adjustments, because we'll adjust it after. Now to route the cable. I ended up using the 300 stock cable. After many trial and error, I went back to the steady garage cable because I couldn't route it the way I wanted it to with the 300 stock cable once I had the radiator mounted back. So I went back to the 300 cable, routed it a different way. I may reroute it eventually. I don't know, I don't like it sitting right there. Um, but it's adjusted, it works. It's up there, so we're good. So now we're gonna move to actually putting the radiator back to where it was, because you had to, I had to take it down. Yeah, it was a disaster. So let's mount the radiator back up and go from there.
Don't forget to plug in your fan. Cable's already here. We'll zip tie that up there. So we did the throttle cables, those were turned good. Um, the clutch cable adjusted properly. Um, the radiator we mounted back up. Um, now we're gonna tackle the dash. So on the 300F harness, motor harness, it is plug and play. You don't have to do anything with the Grom dash. You can use the 300 dash, obviously. I'm gonna be using the Koso dash but it's plug and play. There's no wire splicing, there's no repinning. So if you can get a 300F harness, that's your best bet. It's the easiest of all of them. I think I've said that in the beginning of this little build thing I'm doing. Um, the 250R and the 300R, there's a few pins you have to repin. I'll be doing that in another video because I have a 300R right here. Um, that Grom is getting a 250R which is over there. So I'll have, and I'll have plug and play adapters for the dash so you guys don't have to repin them. Um, check our Facebook group whenever I finish making them, they'll be posted there. The link for that's in the description. So now I'm gonna do the dash. I'm gonna mount the camera and we're gonna get this dash in. It's super simple. Three bolts, I've lost one, so two bolts and just plug it in. I gotta remember how all these wires went. Back from the dead. this video up we got everything we done and we actually added the fuel tank which is right there um, I don't know how much of the video you'll be able to see because my friend my buddy Kevin came over and was shooting the shit while we were installing it so I didn't really pay attention to the camera position but you took the gas tank off so you'll be able to put the gas tank back on um, here's what I did to make everything fit so this is the fuel pump I extended it I made it a little bit too long but the harness had it come here and I needed it obviously to go into here so I extended this. If I can find the plugs for this I will make plug and play adapters so you don't have to do this extending crap. Um, this is the stock Grom fuel line just routes right up and around and underneath. Um, the radiator obviously these are the vent and overflow hoses from the gas tank. Um, I'm just gonna have them dangle here I don't think I've ever had my gas overflow Koso dash, I left on, but you can see it's turned on there. And like I said before, the 300F harness that I'm putting in here, it is direct plug and play with the Grom dash or the Koso dash, obviously, because duh, that's what I'm running. Um, the 350, the 350, that'd be sweet. 
the 250R and the 300R. Those plugs are not plug and play, but I am going, I have the plugs, where are they? I have the plugs. I'm gonna make plug and play adapters for those so you guys don't have to repin or do whatever you want. Um, for any updates on adapters that I have, link in the description to the Facebook group. It's actually growing pretty fast. Um, there's a lot of good info in there. All the uh, the diagrams I'm putting in there slowly but surely, but they will be there for the, the ignition or whatever, whatever have you. Um, yeah, that's about it. And for anything A Racer, hardracing.com as always. Shout out to Mike. I can't pronounce your last name, but thank you for that mini five, bud. Your Grom's still slow being stretched, but hey, we're all not winners around here. And I think that's going to be it. So stay tuned for the next episode after this. I don't even know what we're going to do or what we have left, but it'll be in the title. So any comments, put them in the description. Like I said before, I'll have all the bolt sizes and everything and links to all the parts that I'm using. The last episode that you watch, whether it be this one or the one after or whatever, will have the latest, the latest links for all the parts. So until next time, my friends, later. Yeah.